just how much money has the Bank of England printed up? It's common knowledge that the Bank of England have been printing money, which they rather euphemistically call quantitative easing. Because saying money printing is a little too much like Weimar Germany in the 1920s. So just how much have they printed, and crucially, in what form? It's important to remember, it isn't the physical notes and coins in your pocket that have been created. There's around 60 billion in physical notes and coins in circulation today. Six years ago, there was 45 billion, so there's been an increase in physical cash of around 30%. Certainly not an insignificant amount of physical cash over such a short period of time. But it is the digital money, the money created with literal taps on a computer screen at the Bank of England, that has been growing at a frightening pace. Today, the balance sheet of the Bank of England, which is a gauge on how much money has been created from literal taps on a keyboard, stands at over 400 billion, or 403 billion, 612 million, 900,000, 968 pounds, to be precise. So how big was the Bank of England's balance sheet in the years leading up to the financial crisis in 2008? Between 2002 and 2007, the Bank of England's balance sheet was fairly stable at around 35 billion. Then the banks went bust and the Bank of England went print mad. And by 2010, the Bank of England's balance sheet had risen to 220 billion. Then at the end of 2011, the Bank of England went on another printing spree, taking the total money printed in the last six years to more than 350 billion. The Bank of England's balance sheet now sits well north of 400 billion, a staggering 1,000% increase in the digital money created and dwarfing the 30% increase in physical cash. So where did all that money go? The vast majority of that money was lent to the UK taxpayer through the government borrowing it. With the big banks, of course, taking their cut of the action, generating huge profits for the banks. But remember, all that money has to be paid back, lest we forget. When any central bank creates money out of thin air, the money created has no value. So where does it get value from? It comes from the money already in existence. Which means that 350 billion plus in so-called stimulus isn't a stimulus at all. Rather, it should be seen for what it really is. Simply a tax and a transfer of wealth. Which simply means the purchasing power of the cash in your wallet has been diminished. And we can see this in higher prices for certain goods and services over the past few years, making it the largest one-time tax the country has ever seen. So what does all that look like? Well, here we've got a chart of the balance sheet of the Bank of England, starting back in 1830. Now, the balance sheet of the Bank of England, remember, is a good proxy for how much money has been printed. And as you can see, over the last 180 odd years, money printing has been relatively stable. There's this bump up here, around the year 2000, 2001, which is the Bank of England trying to liquefy the system after the dot-com bubble burst and after 9-11. But just look at how much money has been printed in just the last few years. An astronomical amount. Now to be clear, all this money printing by the Bank of England is totally without precedent in history. But there are some, like the former Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke and certain economists at the FT, who think that all this money printing isn't a problem. In fact, they say you are, quote, ignorant if you think that all this money printing might lead to a drastically devalued pound. 